Hello everybody, um, since the uh, end of the last year I, I was thinking about making a, a follow-up uh, recording um, about, uh, well, explaining uh, how and also why I ended up losing God's presence in my life. So a little bit of recap here, uh, possibly. <clears throat> From my previous recording I was explaining stuff and what basically happened is that in uh, back in 2013 um, I first that was the first time that I uh, spoke to Jesus instead of God um, and I asked uh, one night mm, I asked for a healing and as about three four seconds later I received it it's like like that on, on spot and uh, that that was the, basically the beginning of my relationship with God and up to that point I never had anything supernatural happening to me and it began with stuff like Jesus was coming into my room during the night and I I, I mean <clears throat> he was like he sat at the corner, uh, well, at the side uh, of my mattress, uh, because I I had a mattress on my floor on the floor I was uh, sleeping on, and uh, it's not like uh, for those who doesn't who never had this, uh, this kind of encounter, it it is like you don't see him like physically. He's not physical but you sense this like uh, when you close your eyes you see this white light and uh, you uh, when he was present uh, I, f I sense this <sighs> how to say this how to explain my chest or my heart I, I guess yeah, I, I think it was both, but you know, it, it is, um, it was a long time ago and it doesn't happen to me now, so I, I kind of try to remember it's how it was. Um, this burning sensation of love uh, just, 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 uh, just came out, out, out uh, to me. It, I was just filled with this sensation and uh, oh, while I was, uh, like like laying on my bed and having my eyes closed i was sensing this it's hard to it's again this energy like a being with a shape of a human being like i i i could pinpoint where this being is and um he was just there he didn't spoke anything and uh, so it's just one of the many things that was happening to me. You know, when you have a relationship with, with God, stuff begins begins to happen in your life. And it's it's like a, um, maybe not a daily stuff, but you know, like you're speaking, you're praying, you are <clears throat> constantly having a relationship with a, a bit, sorry. Um, so the next thing I w was uh, about, I don't know, maybe it was two weeks later that this first encounter happened. Maybe it was more, I don't, I can't remember really, but um, basically I remember I was praying to God about um, one particular thing, and that is uh, that, um, it's hard to explain, uh, I was, uh, well, am, uh, living around people in a society basically when I cannot where I cannot connect really with people because it's like I'm having different values and thinking and just I cannot relate it's just there is no connection I cannot I cannot uh, bond with them uh, and uh, I was praying that night that he would uh, like I don't know, like, 
connecting with some people that I can relate to like yeah so what happens is that one night after this um, two Jehovah's Witnesses are knocking on the door and uh, I I opened the door and they were they were basically like uh, saying to me that uh, what I would like to study the Bible with them and uh, one other thing is that um, I got a Bible and two other books um, uh, from my well my then father because now I mean my my earthly father my blood related father my like physical father have basically denied me so I got adopted by my heavenly father and uh, I got from my 18th birthday a present and that is that were three books uh, uh, two which I chose uh, and one was the was a Bible and um, I wanted to well I started to I mean years have passed since since that and uh, I just well I just try to uh, read the Bible and uh, I couldn't it, it, it's just it was just hard to, to do I started like a, you know like reading a book from cover to cover and I wasn't it was not something that is like an interesting thing to read and so I was kind of struggling with it and uh, so I was like okay okay I will use this uh, chance uh, to do it because I actually made like like I by asking God I like it's like making a promise like if he's going to give me like I'm going to use it so basically what I did is like I said yes and so what happens is that I I spent about a year maybe more I don't know I can't re remember yeah it was a year and some I don't know so I was there and you know they were like teaching this stuff it doesn't really matter because it's uh, religious stuff but the point is that I got to the point when I I finished reading the Bible you know it's the thing is uh, that the thing is that beforehand I got no knowledge of the Bible at all like never ever read anything uh, you know like some stuff that I I was I heard about uh, you know stories from the Bible but no I never read it so by being there you know it was like reading some passages from the Bible and being around people it just helps you know making it creating interest in reading it so basically I finished reading the Bible cover to cover that's the point and uh, I wanted to go away because that was the whole point of why I was there but I felt that God wanted me to stay there so I stayed but uh, it's like I didn't want to stay uh, there because that that was the whole point why I, why, I, why I went there and yes there was that other thing to to send me to to people you know like I can share and relate but it's like I guess I couldn't just do that the thing is I stayed there and uh, for um some time i was there and then something happened and i was hurt and uh, i wanted to like i said to myself like that's enough i'm going away and uh, when i actually decided to do that i sensed the holy spirit was like like crying out or something like like if i would like um hurt uh, the holy spirit like if i would use a knife and stab the Holy Spirit it, it it I sensed it like like if I like like a person who trusts another person 
and he betrays that on another person so he was like like screaming out or so, sh like like that like if i would have stabbed the uh, stabbed the holy spirit and then then this this uh, i sense this like anger or something i don't know how to say it and so i went away uh because here's the deal i was in this mental st stage or whatever that uh if I don't go away, then I sense that I cannot, like, I'm going to give up. It's like, it's hard to explain because, like, I kind of understood the point why God wanted me to stay there. And that is to basically save them through me, like, light shines in the darkness. And so I wanted to stay, but I didn't have, I just... Throughout those year, I there's just so much stuff that I didn't know what to believe in and what is right and what is wrong, and I, I it just I had had to had to make it just it's hard to explain. It's like having this burden. Like for example, I had this burden that I was at the time I was addicted to masturbation and porn, and there are just so much burden that I had to deal with and I and I was like at the brink of collapsing and so that's like I knew that I cannot bear it, it just I have to do something now and that's why I did this I went away and my plan was to deal with this this stuff and then return back and then just like continue from that onwards when we when I left and so what happens is that I I, I went away I, I sent well I went away uh, not immediately of course but I told them what's the problem etc etc et but I eventually go go away and I'm dealing with this stuff and basically what happens is that I more or less succeed basically I succeed I didn't it's not like it all goes well except that at one day god does something takes away something and i just it just i i just got hurt and it just i give up on my plan to go back like i leave it up to god you know like if god wants me to do something then then he will like like t he would tell me like do it or something so, so I ex so well I should actually explain w what I mean um, basically why what I was doing is that I was battling my addiction and it got to the point when I actually kind of like won but uh, the problem was that even after getting out of it I, I basically returned to to the point I I was before and it just it wasn't enough uh, because I expected it to be gone like like this like I like solving a problem and it's gone and it, it's not how it works and uh, the other problem is that since I spent many 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 years uh, like like a, I don't know if you know the term hikikomori. It's a, it's a Japanese term, uh, used for, a people who isolate themselves from society. It means that people are shut themselves in their room and they don't leave the room. And that's how I was for years. And, and basically my whole life I was like the type of person who, who spends his time, uh. Uh, at his computer and uh, except school and you, all that you know I didn't go outside very much very often and after that I didn't like go because I had a uh, problem with, with, with uh, school related problems uh, and uh, before that I asked God about this that like I want to stop uh, 
like investing my time into doing something that makes no sense anymore because it's just like I was always doing something on my computer but knowing like seeing things in the new light it it just is something that is sucking life out of me uh, when I was a child you know it was fun but now later on it was basically because I had nothing else to do and I was just spending my time doing stuff that it just there is no point of doing that but I couldn't change uh, it it was it was hard it was like my uh, since my six since I was well basically my childhood I was doing it so the thing is that I had a plan uh, call it a battle plan how to how to deal with this addiction and and I basically wanted to go back and do and continue like doing uh, what I was doing at the computer you know with my with the computer computing and during the time because I I basically what what I did is that nothing worked like I tried to stop but nothing worked I tried everything that like I I, I was reading on the internet uh, you know like people giving advices and like I tried many many things but nothing worked and so what I did is that I basically said to myself I'm going to deal with this and what I did is that I stopped doing everything and made this a priority number one and so there was a certain point I couldn't pass a certain days and I couldn't do it no matter how much I tried and uh, what I did is that I was just curious even if I can even if even if it's possible even to go like a day more and I was just the only thing that I did is that when when it happened when when, when these like this it's hard to explain not like a wave but when I just couldn't do it anymore I, I just what I did is just just sat and waited from minute to minute from sec every second it was just it was just hard and that that made me able to to push to to go over uh, another day and then another day i remember that uh, at the time i i the only thing that actually worked because it it came I mean these these urges came during the night and I was the only thing that actually worked was that during the night I was awake and I was playing video games this is the only thing like like wait like going through the night like like surviving the night this way and during the day I was like um, sleeping and so there came a point a certain day it was I think it was 18 days that uh, I just couldn't I I reached my limit that this is if 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 uh, the the only way to survive I mean to go past the day is just if if somebody would like with ropes I I would be tied tied up but no it it I would not be able to so I prayed and I I said to Jesus that this is the limit this is as far as I can go and if if he is not going to help me I just I can't so what happens is that I reach 18 days again after relapse and lo and behold I don't have this like that this like this like I don't know like extreme urge to do it to masturbate and I was able to go like past 20 days but I reached again a point and that was day 27 when it just it's like it reached its peak and uh, again it was like another m milestone and uh, the only th I, I tried to overcome it a few few tries few attempts of 
but what actually happened what actually i did is that i was when it happened i was laying on my bed and i was just just waiting through it and it just took i don't know maybe some hours i was just just laying and do nothing and i was just waiting and so what happened is that it came and and it sud- suddenly at some point it just like it felt like it slowly like faded away and then it was nothing like no like i wasn't no urge no horniness like nothing and suddenly uh days have passed and nothing and i was like my my goal was 30 days to reach 30 days and i couldn't and this happened but i was like okay 30 days was the goal and after that i will i will go back into my life like going back because what i did is that i didn't do anything else like this was the only thing that i was dealing with all the time like like pushing myself like i stopped even cleaning my my room and all everything else stopped doing anything on uh well actually i was just playing games video games during the night but what i want to say is yeah um after that point uh, i felt complete like it felt different i felt like going out like back to the old before i started you know sinning but i felt i felt irritated i felt like having this pent-up energy and i still wasn't going outside and the only way the coping mechanism that i had is was like just just surviving day after day after day after day and so what i wanted is to go back and start like continue like my life and uh, this is when god actually i realized that god uh during that time so at some point he took away computer from my out of my heart like like i like i wanted to go back but i couldn't and that's when i when i actually realized that i was like something happened i was my and I, it was like physical um but actually spiritual my sp- it's hard to explain because likely none of you have experienced this my spirit actually cracked it was such an emotional emotionally hard moment that i f- physically like a like my spirit inside like like physically cracked and i what happened is that i since that moment i felt felt i can only compare like maybe i i told this in uh, in my previous video i don't know like that i felt like like inside like comes the strength and it's like a well with water and it's like the well cracks and the water goes into the like it go becomes like dry and empty like it goes into the um like to the earth i don't i know it doesn't make sense but i felt like like i don't have energy to do anything anymore and it's just permanently it's not there and this is this was the state that i was in constantly after that i didn't have a source of energy like i was i i was feeling without strength possibly kind of like being out of like like if 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 my body would be like uh, out of rubber or something like gum well rubbery or something like that then i basically told god that now i'm ready to to like like save somebody like do the work you know like sharing the gospel and so what happens is that i i meet meet this guy and 
I was telling him about Jesus and sharing with him all the knowledge that I learned um, through the life and uh, about God after that. And that's basically, it's not just my battling with my addiction. It was through this time when I went away from these Jehovah's Witnesses, I spent my time like learning, like understanding these things. I, I wanted to know what is what is the truth, like really, like by uh, actually uh, reading stuff like answers, like to questions that I had about life, about like like what 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 happens after life? What are UFOs? Every anything? Are dinosaurs uh, dinosaurs? Like do they exist? Anything like? And I was just like I want the truth, not like hearing and accepting what one person or what one group says i really wanted to hear like you know an unbiased like the truth so i i i I was listening i forced myself to listen to each and every side to actually i wanted to to know the 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 truth and the holy spirit was actually slowly revealing me uh, these this stuff and so when i got to this point that i i was i felt ready and I felt this burden to be, you know, gone. I'm I'm now ready to deal with this. But I was, I was weak at the same time because all of this battle, all of this that I went through, it made me. Actually, I was weak because of that, and so I meet this guy and I share share with him everything that I I I I, basically my life, and um, so. After two two years, he got saved. He's he he was telling me what happens, what happened to him. That he he was laying on his bed and he was just just repeating Jesus 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 Jesus, and and he saw this blue light, and that he he felt like he he told me that. He, he never felt as bad as he felt like there then like something happened and so because for example like my encounter with Jesus was a uh, very like love it was it was positive but with with him it was a negative experience because he had a different like like I was I suffered because I I I I couldn't be bad. I couldn't be. I tried to be even to be a bad person, but I just I couldn't be happy by doing bad stuff. So I was I was just suffering with around people. I couldn't relate with, and that's that's basically what I was uh, talking about. I, I prayed for you, you know, like um, so while he was the ca- kind of outgoing type who was who has its own gang and he was like doing bad stuff and it, so i i i i told him that this is this is the the reason why i mean this is what i, I believe that this is the reason like why he said, why he had this like negative kind of experience now this is the background my point is uh, why I'm telling this is that when I went away from those Jehovah's Witnesses, I did the very best. Like I, I, I went to the very limits of how I, how much I, I could stay there, and I, I knew that if I, if I stay there, I won't get out. Like I would give up. It's hard to ex- explain, but let's just tell you this. It's like getting all this information and it's just getting and you do not know what to believe in and and you know that there is no such thing like you have to know the truth and so for like this year not this year but that year when I which I spent there 
I had this this all of this information it is just it was in my mind well it's hard to explain but basically you have to know the truth and there are as many people as many truths everybody has its own truth and the problem is that you know during the ju judgment day you have to stand before God and you you have to yeah like be be sure that what you I mean in this world during your lifetime what you're doing you have to absolutely know that that is the way that you are supposed to live your life that that is the like that is absolutely essential for you so that's what i meant by that like this burden like what i was carrying with that masturbation because problem issue addiction whatever is that it's like jesus was like at the time when i was i was having this these issues i was suffering because i couldn't get out of it but i couldn't also continue doing it and i was constantly being pressed be between these two sides and you know like god was angry at like jesus was angry at me and it was just you know whenever i did it and so i but i couldn't stop no matter how much and how how i how much i loved him and how much i tried and wanted to so i this is what i'm this is like like being there and i reached my limits and i had to do something immediately because if i don't i will just i just give up i collapse i and i and it from that point on i wouldn't be able to like go back like carry it again that's that's where i also decided you know like that i i will just deal with it because i took it very seriously like to god like this is my life depends on it i i have to be like wise about this and so i decided that i will go away i will deal with this these like this burden disease these issues and then i will come back because i know that if i stay ah uh, things will go wrong i i know where my limitations are and i knew that i was at the brink of collapsing like completely giving up and and just just being it can be it's like swimming against the water and and you just give up and being swept away like by it and, and so i i go get got away i mean i went away i dealt with this issue these issues and after this person that i saved i was like this is it i'm completely ready to go like do be like do the will of god and so at that point i was actually asking god whether i should go back oh uh, yeah and one more thing and related to when i was talking about how god took away the computer and like i was I was at that point like angry because like i went through the hardest part of basically the hardest challenge that i ever possibly gone or definitely it definitely was in the in the hardest that i went through in my life and uh, what i got was that god took away something from me at the end and so i was angry like and i gave up as i told you uh go the, on this plan to go back so what i wanted to say is that after saving this this guy I actually asked God whether I should go back and uh, and I I heard like like Jesus tell me no and so here is my point that uh, essentially my plan was to go deal with this and go back and then l like if God wants me to stay there then I stay even even though I mean like I didn't have the back then the like the luxury of risking like doing something that i knew that can harm me because if i stay i knew that i cannot take it anymore so there are actually two sides of of this going back there and also leaving things up to god like when he wants me to do something i'm going to like follow but i couldn't 
back then I couldn't take that risk because I knew that if I'm not going to s s solve these issues that I had, like these internal issues, like not being like ready yet, I knew that if that happens, if I actually like collapse, like give up, it would be over for me. I would be in so like such a big trouble, big trouble because I would not be able to survive. So my point in here is, well, I'm saying this, this the third time, third time, but I trusted Jesus. And here's the thing. Yeah, the fourth time. Sorry about that. The difference, the disagreement between me and God is that I simply knew where my limitations are and God still wanted me to stay there. And, and this is this is the core reason which I made a decision that led to this, what happened to me about losing the Holy Spirit. So essentially, um, what I'm trying to, what I mean is that I wanted to make, give God that which he, well, I mean Jesus, which he require, request, so, sorry, required of me or requested of me like this trust, like even though I'm unable, like like I know that I can't, like if he says that I'm able to, like if he says that, if he, if he wants me to stay, then I stay even though I know that I can't. So I don't risk it, but once I get ready, I, I take the risk and follow him, whatever he wants me to do, even if it doesn't make sense. And so what I did is, sorry, once I was ready, like, like completely ready to serve God, like do anything, what I did was that I, I did not dealt with anything except that I, 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 gave, I gave my will over to him. I, I, it, it was like I was just waiting for him and doing nothing, just, just waiting like, now is now is the time when when Jesus can tell me what to do and he can tell he can like navigate navigate me like all this time I was just trying to solve these issues and get ready like I was telling telling him basically like just wait for him wait for me I will go away I will I will come back and then we will continue where we left off and I had this mindset so that I wanted to trust, to trust him, even though I knew that which he asks of me doesn't make sense to me, because I know where my limitations are. Basically, well, I'm saying, pointing to his request that he wanted me to stay there, and I knew that if I stay there, I will. I'm 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 at the brink of like collapsing. I cannot take it anymore. Like there is just so much. Like mentally, I it was so hard, to, oh, oh, like for me, and so I wanted to believe him, even though, even though, it made no sense to me. It's it's this disagreement. This is the whole core of the issue, and um, up to this day, I still don't understand because it's like some sometimes God asked like something too much of us fr from us and i mean with this i still don't know because i know exactly like i know myself well enough to know if i'm go what what is going to happen if if i'm going to do something like like this and so all i know is that jesus later on told me that it was possible like through him but I can I, I cannot I still cannot come to the to the point when I could agree with him. I know it's it it's this pro problem that I'm having that I so wanted him to have the truth that what I did is that once I was finished preparing myself I I stopped doing it like I I was not dealing with anything else. I was just like, now 
I'm I gi- give myself over to, to you like like just tell me like like being a soldier and waiting for the command like what to do and so with this mindset I was just not doing anything just waiting for him you know um, to a- ask me what am I supposed to do now because that's the whole point I didn't do anything for him to, to, to that point everything that I was doing is is what was me doing my thing and me focusing on myself and preparing myself and solving these issues and etc but I didn't go back so I was just waiting for him like what to do now like I was expecting him like to move move me but he didn't and uh, here's the thing the problem I was not dealing with my problem of being always inside of being isolated and, and not just not going out I don't I don't there's a thing that I don't really like I'm not an outgoing person like I never was in my life and it just it, it is a whole it's a it's a problem that I was not dealing with it and uh, this is really hard to explain like my motivation behind my decision yeah I can explain it this way that it's like I'm having all these issues and I I wanted to trust Jesus so what I did is basically I sold like everything that I could like like completely solve but there are these things that are just having to de- I have I have to deal with it on a day-to-day basis and it's like not something that I can like can work out and solve it once and for all it's like it's like it, that kind of stuff and the thing is that at the I don't know somewhere at the beginning of our relationship I remember I was trying to I had this problem that I was I, uh, like at the time I was uh, um I was not working at all and I was at the job center and uh, I was thinking about like how am I supposed to like go out go from this point now like forward in life because the situation where I was in I knew that at some point I it it is going not going to last forever that I will be able like I'm I'm living living with my mother, mother yeah uh, and so i knew that i have to i have to do something with it and i was dealing with this issue because i didn't finish i i'm i'm school i'm a school dropout and i didn't finish finish high school and that's that's the whole point why i was all, like also inside because i had school related problems and i i withdraw from from society and that's what i i mean all of this like coming from my father's side like my like physical father's my sorry from my physical bloodline father uh from his side and this pressure you know school related pressure and 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 from my mother's from her side and and it just i withdraw from it from it because it was like school wasn't a, a fun place for me I just I just the only place that I felt at home like felt this warmth or security is when I was just sitting behind my be, behind the computer and doing my stuff whatever it was and so after being dropped out of school I just I just was inside like mentally was isolated and isolating my well isolated and because you know all my like um relatives and uh, friends and everybody you know it's like this you're having to put up with the shame you know of of being somebody who is who's like looked down to you know like like looked down upon and so there are many things problems that i i had that, that i'm not going to talk about but what Jesus, I, I guess it was Jesus, but Jesus, God, spoke to me one day at while I was sitting in my computers and was trying to figure out how to, how to 
how to like what am i going to like how to solve this like like going to like have to find a job and all that stuff and he spoke to me like give like like i'm I, i'm supposed to give my life over to him like that that's what he offered to me like and i was like so relieved that i don't have to put up with all this stuff because like i don't want to deal with it at all but i'm like i'm pushed like i have to because i have to survive and so that's basically a reason why i was not deal like i i expected god to deal this with this issue like himself like he will like get me out of this situation like i expected him to deal with it and also i specifically le left this like like undealt with because if i'm going to my, my thinking was if i'm going to like not trust god like like i'm going to deal with everything on my own like i'm i'm going to like think and prepare for every car and any kind of situation like i was like i could i can go like every day like de uh, sorry like doing it hard or like dealing with every dealing with everything on my own the problem would be that i wouldn't be giving god room actual room to for trust and i would actually like couldn't like rest like i would actually have to like always every single day i would like kind of pain myself like like fighting every we weakness like like i don't know like doing everything so that nothing nothing go wrong nothing can can go wrong and by this i wouldn't like i couldn't i wouldn't be able to like enjoy my relationship with with god like like just lay back and rest and be happy and so i kind of live this as as like like this one issue like like on god like as a weakness my weakness uh through which he can approach me and so what happened and what led to this this you know like break the the relationship uh with with him to to go wrong is that i did this decision specifically uh to give him what he wanted to 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 believe jesus even though what he he was saying it didn't for me it didn't it it, it didn't make any sense but i was willing to risk it for him i don't know if you understand what i'm trying to explain but uh, this was like a vulnerable place through which he could have, have like we could have established trust and so it's like like i'm a person who doesn't trust people and it's like i'm always having this uh, i'm always thinking in a way that even if i ask uh, ask somebody something to do like i know like i'm living with my mother so it's like like my neighbor or somebody like i i always it it it's most of my mother but i always prepare in advance that when that per if if that person is not going to keep his word so that's who i am that's how i am because that's what i became because i was um, throughout my throughout my life i learned that that there is just not no there is i found nobody who i can trust and everybody failed me and uh, i made this exception to G for jesus because i wanted to trust him that much that i actually and this is the problem i went against my own consciousness against my own belief and what i learned throughout my entire life i knew that what i i'm going what i'm doing is actually a way that doesn't work that's 
that's not the right thing and if it would be about like what i would do i would never do this like this path i would not choose i i only chose it because because of that beginning i mean when i at that moment basically it comes back to that moment when i went away from from those jehovah's witnesses i tried in every way possible to have a relationship with god when i mean sorry i just went away from this application okay i wanted god i wanted this I wanted my our, my relationship with God to be I wanted to do everything so that my well it would be on such a level well, God is going to say that I I'm satisfied and I did my utmost effort the best to and all also to protect and to keep this relationship spotless so this was my but basically thinking uh, behind my decision and that uh, it led me to doing something that from i mean some for somebody i mean outside god would be like not understandable and that is i spent my time basically inside and just waiting and i was not doing anything anymore but just laying sleeping w watching videos and basically just doing like eating and all that stuff I, I was just doing nothing just waiting for god to you know move me to do something that was my point i used like the left of my strength i was not using it on like being happy like on on myself i was just wanted to give like all my strength and will and everything in my life to God and for God so what happens is that one day I was going through the like the city center and I met these two people the two young guys and they were just offering me some kind of uh, insurance or something the thing is oh they wanted me to sign some papers and this is when at this moment something bad happened to me because i didn't want to i didn't i didn't have any kind of like i wasn't interested in doing like earthly stuff dealing with stuff like that and the point was that i usually when when people are stopping me i usually stop and you know it's like my thinking is that i do not know what a person is going to ask me so i have to actually like at judgment day like my have this thinking sorry that i'm not going to judge before i actually listen to somebody like uh from you know like an outside appearance or something and uh, my thinking is the following that if I don't stop and don't don't actually listen to what that person wants to offer me or ask me or whatever so God can like use this like I wanted to warn you I wanted to you know to tell you something but you you rejected me you know like I send that person so it's it's like I I usually, you know, like stop and well, I was like that. Nowadays things are different, but I was like not giving a chance. I'm sorry, not leaving anything to chance. So the thing is that they started to talking. They started talking to me, explaining to me stuff, and I was just listening. And I was the problem is I was so mentally weak at that point that I wanted to say no but I was just so as I as I was explaining to you that uh, because of that point when when God actually took away the computer and I experienced this like this uh, 
I oh like this like my spirit cracked I felt like this very very weak to deal with situations and also the combination of always being inside and not doing physically anything and and just laying and waiting for God to actually move me and do something I got into this point when I wanted to say no but I I was just so weak mentally and I was actually at that point praying that God please like get me out of this situation I don't want to be in it, in it. because they are they were like using kind of how to say this it's like using kind of some kind of psychology to get you and yeah I like at that point I can go away like it's not like that like physically I can get away but I fail, felt like in the situations like like I was it was so overwhelming to me that I couldn't deal with I felt like like my legs were like felt like like heavy and I, I just couldn't move and I, I, I should have said no but I was like like this is so like I'm not ready for this I'm like spending my time always inside and and I'm just not ready for this so so God please please get me out of this situation and, and he didn't like I pray to Jesus I, I guess but I asked him and I and he didn't and what happened at the day is that I actually against my will I, I was just thinking about like you know when somebody asks you something then then you should do it but that's not how it works like it's not not it's not this is not how it is in such situation uh, but what happened is that I I basically well I didn't go away and I I I, I did what I would I did not want to do and that the sign to that whatever they wanted and that I felt after that I felt like I I was even thinking about going back and just just you know like getting the paper back but the thing is that as I'm as I was explaining to you that my whole life I was just I spent it inside I was like socially like unexperienced and uh, uh, it's difficult to explain but I felt like robbed of my freedom like like raped in my mind or something like that and I mean like I till that point I had peace but with this I couldn't I couldn't make peace with this like this happened to me and it this felt like unfair and I try to deal with it in such a way that uh, okay it is not God's fault and you know like but it was like it it was reoccurring to me like I, I I couldn't make peace with this because from that point onwards like I couldn't uh, like protect myself and I felt exposed and basically anybody can make me do something that I don't want to and this this was because of my well because of what happened because of that state of being so weak and weakened and so with this I I I was continuing to stay inside just waiting for God and this got to the point when I actually there was this day and I was like telling God that yeah yeah I remember it it was actually like in 2019 at December like at the end of the year I was like telling God I can't bear going for another year like this and in January like I was when you are at the job center they're always giving you a job uh, opportunity you know offering you a position in, in some kind of uh, company and they sent me to a place it was a bakery uh, and I when 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 the manager came and asked me whether I like I want to work there and I was just like saying there that 
like if I have not if I if it's not what I not the type of a job that I'm interested in and if I have to then I then I will accept but I would rather not and sorry if they would accept then it then I would rather not because these job offerings are like like not not really like I don't have a choice I either accept or I will gonna be kicked out of the job center there is just like there there are like a penalty like in the country where I am living um, I have to pay whether I like it or not um, health insurance and if I'm not having a, a steady job or if I'm not not a student or if I'm not at the job center the state wouldn't pay it uh, for me and it's something that is mandatory for everybody to pay it's not like you cannot there is no option like not paying it it's for it's not not like in the US only the homeless people are you know the extent of this but so that's how it works and so what happened is that the manager got like angered and about my answer and 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 they just filled because I received this paper and I have to give it to them and they they are like filling up this form like they have to if if they reject me they have to write the reason why or and well and well they wrote there that I basically refused or rejected their their job you know what they offered offered me to me and I was just explaining to them that that I accept but they 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 didn't want to hear it anymore they they were just no so I went away and I was like you know like living in the state of like broken because brokenness because when you are in a when you are in relationship with God, the Holy Sp- you have this. How to say this? You he, he brings you into this deep brokenness when you are in close relationship with the Holy Spirit. Like like you, in in this very close, closeness I would say, and you are just like anything that is asked of you. You are just you know, like by people. You are just trying to, like, off, like fulfill their wishes, like help them, and you know, basically the thing is, it's like God is preparing you for the heavenly stuff. Like, you obeyed me in the little things. Now, I will grant you the big, big things. I don't recall exactly how it's written in the Bible, but that's the point. And basically, while while going through every single day months and years i just grew weaker and weaker and when i went away when i was coming back from this place i was just telling god that i cannot like it's like i'm cannot i cannot do this anymore like i'm 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 just i just can't and i remember how the holy spirit was reacting at the time and so I basically came back and I don't know at which point but it was the f- the all, all this stuff um was uh, at the first half wave of halfway uh, of January 2020 and I remember this day when I woke up and I was just telling God I can't, I can't go on like, like this is this is like I don't I cannot go even f- like more than a day, like it's just I'm so like weak, and I even remember in 2019 I was like, like I was, I guess it was 2019 I I don't remember but basically telling God that that he should tell Jesus well basically that he should kill me because I cannot go on like this I mean I mean I'm at at the end like like I'm 
in such a way that I'm so weak that um it's hard to explain because it's something spiritual it's something inside and it's I remember that I felt kind of like I exhausted again coming to the end of like like this in this in this life it's kind of like I exhausted my every resource my every strength and I'm just like I know that I I'm at the end I cannot go on for 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 long and I was asking Jesus like telling him that that please kill kill me because I will I will forgive you like like I knew what is coming and so later on I remember this day that I was that was the like the last day like I cannot go even a day like this anymore and so basically living every single day like not doing anything not going outside not having anything to do like before the like not comp not doing computing stuff computer related stuff i was just laying in on my mattress and it was i was just spending my time my my life like like laying there and i was just sleeping and and, and re watching videos and and basically not doing anything any more and and i was telling like jesus or god you know that i i cannot i can't go on and and i was just telling him that if 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 he will send me somebody like now who would just grab me out of this and and just like from like take me away like somewhere completely like away like i had this idea like like going into some into the us into this into this like camp camping area something like uh, where people are living in in the in the wilderness like i wanted him to rescue me from this from this because i cannot go on and and like i would i would oh sorry out of this pressure and like i was mentally on the under so m like much pressure and and just telling him that if you will like send somebody like right now to rescue me like i i will survive but what happened was actually that jesus said like okay wait for me i i don't remember any the details like what oh, sorry i did he didn't say okay but he said like wait for me and that was the moment when it all like snapped because it was like giving me another burden and at that point i was like my cup has been like overflown and i remember that there was only one way out and that is to go outside and uh, i also remember that uh, god has shown me a building like he was telling me you know like to go outside a particular place like where the building is you know and also that passage from the bible that be obedient to death and suddenly i i i was in this point that i have no friends i have no place to go i have no strength i i have basically nothing left and i just didn't want to go to go any further to to fight any further and this is the problem that i'm living with my mother and with my mother only there there is only one way to actually live in peace and that is to be like sh close the door on the key and that's the only way because she's a kind of person who with whom there a person cannot have peace only if he has a private place when where he can be or she or me <laughs> and uh, every everything outside every, every place outside my room is basically a and sorry an unsafe territory where she is looming and basically 
what I'm trying to say is that in order to go outside, it wasn't just like go outside. She was at the day she was at home and uh, well, this is her home, not mine, but anyway, going outside is not so straightforward because I have to wake up i have to take up my clothes and go outside and then she will gonna like come up come out and she is going to ask me where am i going and how long and you know all, all the, the these details and i have to deal with it because here's the thing at that moment i was i reached i was so mentally like like reached my very limit uh, as how much i can take like mentally speaking and like it was like every drop of water was like something that was very hard to deal with and usually when i go outside or well go outside like my room or or just well when i go outside the the house where i live basically she always asked me to go buy stuff or just you know like do this or that and when i i mean she doesn't like when i go go away or so or something like that because i usually don't go away and what she does is if i just go away is that she's angry and she slaps slams the door or after me then i have to deal with you know like go down and then deal with like the neighbors who are s sitting there on the benches and you know like I have to say hi to them even though I don't want to really it's like this fake s smile when you have to do something just to be socially acceptable and then I mean not not to anger them just take this from that side that from that mental side that I have to deal with this and I was just even thinking about taking these uh, head, uh, like this protection that are used, you know, like on the on the ears, ear protection, kind of this headset kind of stuff. I don't know how it's called, or that is used usually on construction. I have one such uh, at at at. I mean, in my room, just so that I don't have to hear what it, she is going to, you know, pick me with like these her words because well i don't have to explain i i i believe that every everybody has its share of experience with with uh, with parents so you can relate to that and i was just even then going outside i would be like like i felt like a zombie like i felt like that when Jesus said that I wait for me, I was I I was feeling like I had to just I was I just died like like I have to carry myself and I I like going outside and and being like an a I would I would I would look like and somebody who is who's drunk like like an alcoholic and going from side to side like not straight like it it was just i'm i'm it was mentally very hard and i i was just saying no i don't want to do that like i had to do something just to survive it was not like when when god does take something away from you or just going through something hard and you can just you know like lay on your bed and it just you know just sleep or something this this was the opposite way like i have to do something just to survive and i was not willing to do it and so the reason why i didn't want to do it is well one one reason i mean there are a few reasons one was what happened that i w i would not be able to in this state be able to protect myself outside because I'm always like this is one one thing that I'm always meeting like homeless people and I have to you know like give them money and all that stuff and I and just people are, like 
for example, I, one day I was shopping and this uh, deaf person comes to collect some money and all this, all this stuff. Like I was not mentally like w- at that point like ready to face uh, these kind of situation with people at all, and and it just it's no I don't I understand that it's hard to understand for people who are listening to this because they are not people who are usually like living their lives in isolation so they like they cannot understand this but it's like it's hard it was hard and so i said at that point like enough like i have enough and i quickly gave up and from that point onwards well what happened is because i didn't leave the room i actually well i i felt like screaming and like destroying stuff but i was so weak that i and also because it's like i had this man well everybody i guess well not everybody but i have this had this mental barrier that like if I were going to shut, like, not only being physically isolated, but I ca- I cannot even, like, like, it's like I cannot be even loud because in this place, like, if I get loud, like, my mother will go come come to me and bang on the door, like, what's happening? What are you doing? You know that kind of stuff, and I I was like. <laughs> having this mental barrier that I would like to shout on top of my lungs and I and I couldn't and it was like like a bomb that is going to explode inside of me I I literally like was at that point that I was thinking what am I supposed to do now because I can let that uh, like it explode inside of me but then I would have to suffer the consequence of that because God won't is not going to heal me. Like he when when I had this injury, like this spirit kind of injury when my spirit cracked, I had to live with that. God God was not there to heal it. He didn't. He wanted me to you know carry on with like that. That that the whole point behind that is to make 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 me strong. Like that's wh- why, why in in life, things are going, you know, like not the right way, for, I mean specifically for the believers. It's like hard, because God wants to make us strong. I know this specifically because he actually showed me a dream about another YouTuber, and. Uh, he maybe maybe you know uh, the the channel prophets among us uh, with uh, Jason Stevens, who is basically describing what is happening to him and Jesus showed him as an example. Like I I I saw Jesus giving the, to this person like from this from a side point of view, like very close. Uh, Jesus was on the left side and Jason was on the right side and was giving him this robe, this white robe and telling him something along the line of uh, well, basically telling him uh, how he surpassed every Jesus' every expectation about how strong he became so what I choose well, choose is that no like i'm not going to like deal with more of this burden and so what i actually have what actually happened is that <sighs> this was the first time when i when i spoke against god like i couldn't take it anymore like i spoke against him and i was angry venting my anger like i i never did that like for years, I I was very careful in a, in every way possible. Everything that I told God and I prayed, I I I was very picky about every word, and I was very 
like thinking like what am I like I like it was <laughs> maintaining my relationship with God was the most important for me because everything like like I couldn't effort to lose my relationship like my good relationship because it was like every I don't I don't have the luxury to you know like to to lose it because like I have nothing in life I'm nobody and God is everything I have he is the he's he's my only hope and talking about hope that that was the that was what at the day Jesus took away from me like he wanted uh, this was a trial and <sighs> well be, before this trial before this happened like I think two weeks or a month prior to this I was actually telling God that if he is going to make me go through another trial where I'm in this at at this point in this state I will simply refuse like like it just this these are the usually like I know God and he's usually uh, doing this kind of trials when we are at the worst like the least prepared or the weakest and well, I, this is what I was telling him, and that's exactly what happened. Like two weeks later, or once more, I I can't, I cannot remember exactly, but that's exactly this was, and I and I was angry because, like, he knows in what state I am. Oh, I mean, I was, and he still did it, and I was angry because I never wanted to turn like say anything about like against him and that's why I was like angry about and uh, I couldn't just it was not I couldn't take it anymore and so I was starting to tell stuff that I I knew that they are like they were not truth they were just I was just wanting my anger this is hard to explain because I literally reached the very limitations of my being of how much i actually possibly can take it was like i literally reached the very limitations of it's hard to explain it's like you are running a race or or just running outside and you are feeling like weak and you you are your your muscles are like feeling like sore and you, like, like your side is hurting and all this stuff and you just go on and go on and go on and you you are getting like like you can't do it anymore you are like exhausted and basically this is like going to do to the point when 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 i don't even know if if that's good enough to exp to use it as an example like going more than I don't know like going to the point when when you collapse like you just pass or pass out uh, but maybe even that's not how I can uh, describe it because even that might not be enough or maybe I don't know I don't know I, I cannot I basically know that when you c come to the point to that point you know that this is literally the point when you reach the physical limitations the bar barriers when we when you are cannot more do more you like you cannot go on like but th there was just this one like this option and i didn't want to do that like going outside and i didn't want to like in this in this state like i don't want i did not want to like f like fight anymore and so like I expected because I I knew that I I kind of like I knew that like I risked it like I knew that this is like this this is at risk 
like as I was explaining to you, like I knew that where my limitations are and I knew that uh, when I, before I went away, like at that point when I went away, I was witness, I knew that I have like at best two weeks maximum and I will not be able to, like I will just, just, just give up. It's like, like something inside you breaks and you, you just, at that, from that point onwards you cannot go on like yeah it's kind of like uh, like with running and I mean uh, using the example of running till the point when you actually injure your like legs or you know like, so, like, like you physically injure yourself and, and you cannot go on that point on because like the only way to do it is just to know where your limitations are, stop, rejuvenate yourself, restore your you know, like strength, and then go on. Like you, that's not, that's not. It's not wise to just do every like exhaust the resources of your body till you collapse. And that's exactly what I was doing. Um, and what happened is that, well, uh, I I just remembered uh, the details. Uh, I mean, how how it happened. I had a talk with my stepbrother. I wanted to, like. <sighs> I mean, I was before this. I was like. Like, uh, resting. Well, I was sleep. Well. I was sleeping and I got to the point when I I tried again um I made another effort uh attempt to save my stepbrother who who is an atheist I I guess and uh, I invited him to for a walk outside and I mean the the talk with him didn't make didn't go well and uh, it just went uh, we we had a long talk it doesn't really matter but my point is after that i was just i remember like spiritually i was i was barely standing i was like so like i needed a a lean on onto something and I remember that while I was, I guess, I'll, I'm thinking, I don't know, I, I, I don't remember while I was talking or off, but probably after that, that the Holy Spirit was touching my left, like, shoulder from back, backwards, like, from my back, and like this very gentle very gently and telling me it's okay and uh, this felt like like when you are barely standing and even this gentle thing i i remember was like for me a push kind of like it wasn't a push but it was like like it was the all like the only thing that i needed and i to f to fall and I fell on my face and from that point onwards like I know this is spiritual stuff this is not physical stuff but that's how it felt and from that point on it just then that's the point when I fell and I mean like fell like in a in a sp even in a spiritual sense from that point onwards and that's when I started to you know like like speak against God like this I mean I was uh, I kind of like when you fell f f fall and and there is nobody to catch you and nobody to grab you or you know like raise you up again and that's how I was for for those 13 months I I was exp I was telling about the, the my previous uh, recording 
and I actually like was waiting for like God like to raise me from it like I was waiting for the father to do but as it's exactly like like I expected he didn't and it's this is this is something that I I don't even understand but it's like everything that happened even to such small details like I remember telling Jesus that he want like Jesus wanted to destroy me and that's exactly what I mean he didn't but that's exactly what what came from it so it's it's like like I had everything uh, thought through and I knew where my limitations are and I knew what is going to happen if I do what I did and everything like to to such points like it's it's kind of like it's funny in a way it 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 got fulfilled and I was like I I was telling God for from basically that that year when I went away from this year was witnesses it was 2014 I remember that was the first time I mean when you are with God he he like expected when I get in contact with God I I was already in a very like in a like a like a weak I was weak and broken like inside and I I just I just thought that God will you know like going to like like with God is going to I will finally found somebody like like a friend who can who I can lean on or some I don't know it was such a long time ago but I guess somebody who would help me and you know that's not how it works it just uh, when you got in contact with God when you when he when the Holy Spirit indwells you it's kind of the way that he starts to work on you and uh, well uh, the Bible tells that if God loves somebody he chastises that person and uh, at that point, I remember that uh, I went do, through these trials, and I was just telling God that if He is going to do this to me, I will eventually like turn against Him, and I know that like I don't want that to happen because like like I'm the kind of person who, if I decide something, then he, I mean me. He does it, like, again, me. I do it, sorry. I used to be the kind of guy who lived by what he said. I mean, after what happened, I just, I just got, like, I just, I'm not, not like that anymore. But, yeah, before that I was like that. And while this is, like, a strength like kind of like the, one of the greatest strengths it's also one of the greatest weaknesses of me, mine because it can be used for g well I guess me sorry I was um, also thinking at some point that why didn't God like raise me up or something because the Bible says that the wicked will fall and will never wake up. But when the righteous fall seven times, I guess, he he will... Yeah, even, the, even if he falls seven times, he will always, like, raise up or something like that. He raised up. But I think it was because I I actually... Um, like went away from God or turned in my heart turned against God like inside and that's why now basically this is 
about the past and now to the present for well for these past past sorry uh many months i was thinking like wh why this happened like like i was trying to understand like what happened and basically uh, god was like got me remember stuff and my decisions and i was thinking why like why why did god not warn me and here's the thing that the holy spirit was actually warning me for i mean for for two years i i i was this guy who i was like preaching about well telling about jesus and he's the one who was trying to like telling me this stuff like this is not how it works i remember like he's telling me like like um when i was uh speaking like uh, um about me not going outside and uh, i remember like him telling me this stuff like asking me to go with him to the gym exercising and i don't know like th things like this and i didn't realize that that, that was actually the holy spirit th like trying to warn me through like through that whole time and the problem was that whatever he said to me was nothing that i didn't knew already but from the standpoint that he didn't under they didn't knew the reasons behind like my decision because as i as i um ex explained like like i knew that what i'm doing is wrong but i had a a reason behind it and now basically i'm in a situation when i meant something uh to be like jesus wanted so i basically didn't do what i wanted but i left it um for god up to god and from and now it, i'm i'm the guy who became a victim of his own decisions so basically i d did this to myself and that's i mean that's that's why i'm i'm in the state that i'm like like angry like about what happened because the thing is that i didn't do this because i wanted this oh, like like i wouldn't do this if it would up to me i wanted to give jesus what he actually wanted from me and that is trust and up until that point I didn't I mean I did everything the I mean my way I meant I went my own way I was dealing with stuff that I wanted to deal with, but once I was ready I I gave everything over to Jesus and that's basically I risked it I risked it I made made this decision to risk it and and now I'm um I'm kind I'm not only like suffering because of that decision but also I very much regret it because it turned out that from God's perspective like I made a mistake and I didn't like like this is not what he wanted but basically like what I wanted and and so that's basically where I'm at now I'm still not like back with with god with on good terms <sighs> and it's like at this point i i i don't even want to because i feel like being betrayed and uh, like everything that i did was fueled by that intention 
that I mean for this not to happen so that I will do my utmost my very best for God and I I I give everything I can like in this life in this world like to God so that I will start my life basically I will I will live in the heavens and I will like like this is just a temporary stuff and uh, I'm focusing upon like upon the heavenly and everything will be like from there and so I don't have that it's like I did everything I'm my best and this is the result and so I lost my motivation to to do anything that's basically I don't do anything now I'm just kind of like going on a day-to-day -day basis and I don't have peace I don't have joy or happiness I'm just angry and I'm and I'm, and I'm like that I'm angry in a, in a way that I'm I'm like destructive in a way like I'm having I'm like <laughs> one one of these the perks the things that I'm I I'm doing like I'm I'm so angry like I'm like I'm wanting on God and and curse like yeah like it 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 just it it go it went to the to this point that I'm I just don't care about anything anymore that like that that is my mot motto motto sorry I don't know how to pronounce it in English correctly but uh, that that's that's where I'm at and I'm like having this like um, having this knife and stabbing the floor and 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 the furniture and in my in my room and all that all that kind of crap like I don't care about anything like I don't care about what I'm wh where I'm going or what I'm talking to when I'm talking to people what am I speaking like that's that's the state that I am like like somebody who gave up in life and I'm yeah like God is telling me like Jesus is telling me like he loves me and the Holy Spirit is like so telling me stuff like that he's sorry and and like uh, I mean I I don't want to talk about that like the f like that he's not going to judge me bring me bring judgment for what I'm doing for this what I'm doing that he the time that Jesus is missing me and uh, comp I mean recompensate me for this and like what I'm going through and you know like because I'm suffering and yeah like I guess I mean I remember the Holy Spirit I guess he was telling me that they want me to be happy and all that I mean many 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 things and like the father telling me that he he will wait for me yeah and yeah because I'm not fasting anymore while I still still have this damage inside that is not 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 fully healed it's still there so my conclusion and my advice to anybody who who is listening to this and come to this point is that do not risk anything like yeah like those like it's kind of like a real just realize the paradox of what i'm saying that you know most of the viewers i mean listeners are those who already did the wrong thing who have already made the same or similar mistake that I did is basically do not risk anything and whatever you are doing like like do everything exactly like I did except this part <laughs>